Alright guys, we are back with another video here with the Galaxy S5 and today is the day I'll be doing the benchmark comparison between Marshmallow versus Lollipop and as I always, as I promised in the last video I'll be doing it so I'm gonna do it and yeah so and you'll be wondering like how are you gonna compare one device between two different OS so obviously I took a screenshot of the scores before I updated so I'll show the scores later so let's get into the benchmark so we start off with Geekbench 3 uh, we, we should be testing the CPU performance mainly actually so if you don't know my specs are here I'm using a Snapdragon 801 and Adreno 330 and I have 2 gigs of RAM so let's get started Alright, so we are done and the scores are up and here are the scores. So we got 967 for single core and 3075 for the multi-core score. So pretty interesting. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the results now. So all right, let's go to gallery. I've taken a screenshot. And uh, looks like it's just a minor improvement. Let me see. 967 against... Uh, 952 and 30, let me see the 3075 against 3070 so um, all the scores increase but not that much in my opinion still an increase but the increment rate is not that high it's just a bit so yeah oh okay that's weird anyway so these are the scores now let us uh, close the bench and let's close the gallery as well. Alright. Alright, now let's test the gas graphics benchmark using Antutu. So uh, let's open it up. Okay, test, here we go. Oh, no permissions. Uh, let me handle that. Alright, I've done that. Now let us test. So yeah, um, this is gonna take some time, so I'll be right back once the video, I mean not the video, the benchmark is completed. So see you guys. Alright guys, we are done and look at the score. We got a score of 61,919. So now let us take a look at it separately. So 3D we got 10,360 and UX we have 20,666. Okay. Uh, CPU 22,916 and RAM lastly we have 7977. So how does it compare to Lollipop? That is the question. So let's uh, open up the gallery. I've already taken down the scores. These are the highest scores that I managed to get in Lollipop. So, yeah. Alright, so on Lollipop, I got a score of 52,269, which means we have a difference of around 8,000. And I can clearly see on 3D here, you can see it's very low on Lollipop, 4,694. Other than that, the rest are pretty much um, equivalent, except the RAM. Not sure why. RAM is lower here. But UX is higher here. And let's see here. Yeah, UX here is only 70,000. So the major difference I can see is in the 3D department, which is the graphics. Very improved based on the scores. So yeah, it clearly says that Marshmallow is faster in gaming. So that's pretty much it, guys. So that is the benchmark results. So overall, in conclusion, in CPU, in CPU performance, um, the improvements aren't that major, but if you're talking about graphical performance, then the, the scores are very, the difference is very big, in my opinion. 8,000 points is big. And yeah, so that's all for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next video. Peace out.